What's happening, YouTube? Back in the day, gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel for another episode of What's Happening, YouTube. We're once again graced by my excellent co host, Angry Baby. Today is a beautiful July morning, super nice summer day. We're going to the park. And that got me thinking back in the day, in the summer, playing games. What games did you play in the summer? And what games are you going to play this summer? So before we get started, I just want to say that this is the second time I filmed this video. Because the first time, I thought it would be a great idea to take Angry Baby to the park and film it there. Because we're talking about summer video games and that's summertime stuff. But it was so fucking windy, it ruined the entire video. And I had to scrub the whole thing and do it over. So hopefully it'll be better this time because uh, we had a rehearsal. Jumping into the games. We got two big piles right here. And um, we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the most summer video game to me. When I thought about doing this, it being summertime and whatever reason I wanted to do this video, this was the first game that popped into my mind. Now, I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about these games. I was just like, what are the ones that come to mind? These were them. There's reasons for them. We'll get to them. But the number one game, summer themed, popped into my head on the list. Paperboy. So first off, premise on this game is fantastic. What a great idea for a video game. 10 out of 10. Now the graphics on the Nintendo version are not a 10 out of 10. The controls are super tight. The music's not a 10 out of 10. But I fucking love this game. Paperboy is stellar. You know, yes, if you were a paperboy, you didn't just deliver in the summer. You delivered in the spring, the fall, the winter as well. This game right here epitomizes summer. You know, another thing that jumps into my mind is the movie Rad. And my wife's calling me right now. We're in trouble. Paperboy is like the video game version of that movie. That movie came out when I was a kid, back in the day, fucking loved it. I think everybody my age that saw that then wanted to or became a Paperboy because of that movie and or this game. Paperboy. We could end the video here, right? That epitomizes summer games. But we're not going to because we're gonna talk about another game that I really like that I seem to play in the summer. I love this game. I throw it in often, not just the summer, but it is a summertime game, and that is Jaws. So you're in a boat. It appears to be a nice sunny day. Sure seems like summer to me. Back in the day, this kid lived right across the street from me, John. What's up, John? He had this game, and for the longest time, he's the only person I did know that had it. We always liked this game. It was super fun. It's easy. It's playable. Pick it up and go. You don't need to know a lot or be good at games to play this game and have some fun. I myself can beat this game in under nine minutes. Not that I was counting. A lot of people shit on Jaws, but they shouldn't. It's a fun game. I Probably the only reason why is because the LGN Rainbow and the Angry Video Game Nerd, but Jaws is one of my top 10 Nintendo Entertainment System games, and it definitely earns a spot on this summer video games playlist. Jaws, you're in a boat fishing, right? Did you think you were gonna get through a back in the day gamer video without talking about fishing games? <laughs> the first one that I ever played always comes to mind, Black Bass. That's not the one we're talking about. We're talking about the second lesser known fishing game on the Nintendo, and that's Blue Marlin. The reason this game's on my list instead of Black Bass is because, well, you're, you're in the Caribbean or you're in Miami fishing, Hawaii. Very summerish. You got the palm trees on the side. It's clearly sunny. You're on a boat. Sure doesn't seem like winter to me. Now, you know, a lot of you probably have never even played Blue Marlin because, yeah, fishing game on the Nintendo, right? You played Black Bass. Why the hell would you want to play this? <laughs> no, Blue Marlin is way, way better of a game than Black Bass. There's a lot more substance to it. The graphics are better. The sound's better. The game plays better. It's just a better game all around. As with fishing games, you gotta get the gameplay down just right so you catch the fish, otherwise the game sucks. And that is honestly why most people don't play more fishing games. Aside from 
their fishing games, right? <laughs> we'll leave it at that, because I know you don't love fishing games as much as I do. But uh, that being said, we're going to talk about another fishing game. First of all, the best fishing game there is right here. Bassmasters Classic, but you have to have the Pro Edition. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Bassmaster Classic on the Super Nintendo. But you have to have the Pro Edition. There's differences. They're subtle. The Pro Edition makes it better. We're going to glance over that to the game I do plan on playing this summer. Because, motherfucker, I had to scrub that whole last video because of the fucking wind. As soon as I come out here, it's not windy all day. Put Angry Baby to bed, come out to film this video, it's fucking windy again. If the audio sucks, I apologize. I don't want to hear it in the comments. I know. I already spent an hour or two filming and editing another video that I had to scrub. It's a fucking deal with it. We're going to talk about another fishing game real quick. This one's on my list. This probably has the best graphics of any fishing game. It seems very realistic. It was 16-bit wise at least. 16-bit or 8-bit. It's very realistic. Love how it looks. The gameplay, I haven't got down. That's why I don't play it that much. We're talking about Bassins, Black Bass, the game every video store has in the $1.99 bin. So as I said before, the graphics on Bassins Black Bass are superior for a fishing game. You got that top-down view where you're seeing the fish kind of in encumbered view because it's under the water. Then when the fish breaks the surface, it has a different color and texture to it. Very nice. I like the look of the water, the weeds, logs, rocks, everything under the water. They did a stellar job on this. But like I said, I don't quite have the fishing mechanics down on this, which makes it something I don't throw in a lot. But uh, in this gameplay, as you can see, I caught a fish, so it is possible. No more fishing games, I promise. One more Super Nintendo game though, and that is, what could be more American and summer than baseball? We're talking about Ken Griffey Jr. baseball. There's two of them. One's not so good, one's better. This is the better one, and that is Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. So I got rid of the other game a while back because I decided I like this game better. I'm not going for a complete Super Nintendo system, so why keep that shit around? A cheap, crappy baseball game isn't exactly shelf candy, so <laughs> I really like the, the characters in this game. The graphics are great. I really like the sprites. I like the shit they do when they get pissed off. The guy, uh, oh, go, come on, yells at you when he strikes out if they bust the bat when they get pissed off. There's the fucking wind. I'm about to bust something right now. I have to scrub this fucking video. Do it again. I'm just not doing it. Said you gotta deal with the wind that sounds like shit. I apologize. I'm aware of that. I don't need you to put in the comments below, oh you need to correct your audio. If that's where you're going with this. But Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball is a stellar Super Nintendo baseball title. There's lots and lots and lots of baseball titles on the Super Nintendo. This one is one of my favorite. It's in this video because a while back when I got it, it happened to be the summer and I played it a lot. But we're not done with baseball yet, because my all-time favorite baseball game is, as I've mentioned before, Baseball Stars on the normal, regular Nintendo. So Baseball Stars is a killer baseball title. The graphics aren't spectacular. They're real good for being 8-bit. Sounds good. Gameplay's fantastic. Like I said many times before, it's got that RPG mechanic. You beat the team, you win the game you get money, you power up your team to have the best team to go on and win the league. This game's replayability is just infinite because it's fun. Yeah, you can max all your guys out and you can win the league and that's it, but it's just fun to pick up and play. And that's what I like about a baseball game. Some of them take too damn long. I, I don't know, I haven't played them all and whatnot, but on this one, you're up by 10 points, points. You're up by 10 runs, it's a mercy, game over. So if you're good, you can whack some games out. Whack. whack them out fast. I'm parched. It's not beer, it's just iced tea. But it is delicious. We're gonna throw a title in here that's kinda off the wall. Nobody talks about this game because it's mediocre. But it's a summer game for me. 
my cousins had it. We'd go over to their house. Just remember in the summertime playing it. That is none other than TNC Surf Design. So we're talking about the skateboarding portion of this game because that's the fun one. It's a, uh, I don't know. It's an early Nintendo title. Everybody had this fucking thing back in the day. I always liked playing it. I could get damn far on it. The graphics are decent. The sounds are right. The controls are good. They're tight. As long as you know you got to pull back when you jump and jump on the ramp just in time so you get, you get enough air to clear them holes. Otherwise, you're in trouble. I liked grinding on things. That was cool. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the first you could grind on rails in any video game. You know we're talking pre-internet, pre-PlayStation, pre-Tony Hawk. When this game came out, Tony Hawk was still knee high to a grasshopper. Now what should have been cool about this game, it's actually two games, but the surfing portion of the game fucking sucks. Since back in the day gamer doesn't look up how to beat things, I don't know how the fuck to do it. I could never get more than 10 seconds that's not exaggerating. No more than 10 seconds in this fucking surf game could I ever get. But since you can pick a cat wearing a tuxedo, surfing, it's worth tossing in and trying every now and then. <laughs> Funny you know the trick on how to actually surf in TNC surf design? Let me know, because if you tell me, it's not cheating. I would like to give it another go. I gave it some, some go right here to get the gameplay, and it wasn't fun because I didn't even make it 10 seconds. That's what she said, boom! Last two games we're gonna talk about here are on a kind of strange genre for summer-themed games, but if you think about it, not really. First one we're gonna mention is, well, the genre's racing games. I'm not big on sports games, I'm not big on racing games. You're seeing both of those in here, though, but another hidden gem on the system it's a hidden gem too. You can say, there's no hidden gems. There are, because you don't have this game and you've probably only heard about it because I talk about it all the time. And that is Built to Win. Formula One, what the fuck? Formula One Built to Win. However you classify it, good game. Another guy that lived across the street from me back in the day, Brian, his older brother, Craig, who was a total dick, had this game. So when he was gone or at work, we'd play it. It has safe states. So we had to be very careful not to fuck up his safe state so he wouldn't come home and beat our asses. But this is a super fun racing game. Once again, like Baseball Stars, it's got RPG mechanics. You win races, you win money, you power up your car, you advance, blah, 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 all that stuff. This game's got a lot of substance to it. You buy different parts for your car, you upgrade those parts. It's got the map here of the US of A. America, fuck yeah because that's where you race in the first portion of the game until you go over to Europe for Formula E. It's got lots of cool little nuances, like when you go to Vegas, you can go to the casino and you can play the slot machines. I always thought it was super kick-ass. You know, back in the day, early Nintendo, there wasn't a lot of little Easter egg gem kind of things. Like, you played a game, it was the game, that was it. But this racing game is stellar. The controls are super tight. The graphics could be better, the sound, is awesome. No, it's not awesome. I lied. It's not awesome. It's okay. The controls, though, are awesome. They're super tight. Love this game. But before you get too excited, it is controller breakingly rage quitty towards the end there. Super, super hard. It took me many, many, many years to beat it, but I did. So that's that. Built to win Formula One and Nintendo. Another head and gem. You're welcome. Last game we're gonna talk about here is another racing game, and it is even more summery than Built to Win. And that is, who knows? You fucking know, huh? Outrun. Outrun on the Sega Master System. It's a decent game, but you know when I say Outrun, no matter what version you played, you know you're thinking about that arcade cabinet. Sitting in that fucking enclosed cabinet, Grabbing the steering wheel, you got the knob shifter, you got the gas pedal, this game was the shit. Remember going to Major Magics? Major Magics was a local thing, like Chuck E. Cheese, only it was awesome. I'll never forget playing Outrun, Spy Hunter, Double Dragon, to name a few at Major Magics, but we're not talking about those or that, we're talking about Outrun. 
it couldn't be much more sunny than this. You're cruising in the convertible with your woman down the road, beaches, ocean, palm trees, summer right there, baby. You can change the radio station and the Genesis version. Gets a little more, wait, is there a Genesis version? There has to be, right? I don't know. When I pulled the game off the shelf, I was only thinking about the Master System version. I think there's a Genesis version. I hope so. Otherwise it looks like I don't know shit. <laughs> right there, there's a couple stacks of summer themed games. Back in the day, gamer loves, plays, and is going to play some of because it is summer. These are some of my summer themed games. If I had to pick one, Paperboy. Paperboy's the shit. Love that fucking game. It's loud. Did you hear that? Throw some, throw some comments at me here. I want to know some more summer theme games I should be playing to bring the nostalgia back for me. Wait, how do you know what's nostalgic for me? Because <laughs> you're old like I am. You played the same fucking games. What ones am I forgetting? Like I said, I didn't put a ton of thought into picking the games out. I was going first ones that came to mind because they're the first ones that came to mind. Stands to be that they're the, the most nostalgic summer games for me. But I do want to say, I wanted to say it in the beginning of the video, but I forgot. It's summertime. So get your fucking ass outside and enjoy some summer. Yeah, video games are awesome and you gotta play them. Play them at night, play them when it rains, play them when your kid's sleeping. <laughs> but get your ass outside and get some sun. Try to be a little healthy, right? I mean, look at me. I'm drinking iced tea. It's not even any alcohol in it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into my channel, guys. Don't forget to leave in the comments below some more summer games because I have played and or just about beat most of these and it's dark a lot and the kid sleeps every day, so I do have some, some time to play some games. So. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, enjoy your summer and keep it retro. Thumbnail.